Okay, thought I'd make a quick video um, for something that I've been doing on my post call webhook, which is a hyper customized follow up message using the full transcript that we send in the post call webhook. And so, just to give you an example here, um, I'll use my inbound voice and I have my post call webhook set up here. What I'll do is I'll just open up another tab of high level. And I'll go to the workflow to kind of show you. I'll have a doc with all the prompts and everything in here, and I'll show you it working. And so um, let me go here, business development, and then post call webhook. Okay, so I have my AI assistants, and I have um, you know all my AI voice hooked up to this one endpoint here. So they're all kind of flowing here, and I'm using this to follow up after calls. And I set up my post call webhook. I initialize it with the inbound webhook here and getting the full transcript from the post call webhook. And what I'm doing is kind of walking through this workflow. When the call finished, uh, for those who um, you know don't utilize the post call webhook or pre call webhook, um, I utilize the post call webhook. So every time a call finishes in your sub account or you know a, a voice assistant that links back to your sub account. Every time a call finishes, we will send a post call webhook out um, to an endpoint of your choice, whether that's in high level, wherever you want it to go, you can initialize it there and we will send you um, a lot of data. And the data includes things like uh, the call ID, contact ID, disconnection reason, recording URL, call time in milliseconds, full transcript. We send you a ton of stuff here, um, whether it's for record keeping or something like this uh, to follow up on the back end. And what I do is I initialize the post call webhook to this go high level uh, trigger event here, an inbound webhook. And the next one is I'm just finding the contact by the contact ID. So I know what contact this is that I actually called. I'm updating the field. What I'm doing is I'm just, uh, I'll keep track of data of recent call IDs just for analysis and, uh, you know, using some of our API endpoints. This is not a huge thing. You don't have to do this. Um, and this is just if you know you like to collect data and um, I'm just setting a, a wait here this isn't necessary uh, because by the time the post call webhook comes in everything should be fine but I usually will just do about a half minute wait just for dramatic effect anyway for a follow-up message I don't want them to you know, get a text message right after they get off the phone because then it does seem a little automated right so I, I put about a half minute to a minute wait on um, you know workflows like this and so what I do on this one is my call to action when I'm using voice, when I'm using chat, whatever I'm using, my end call to action always is to book an appointment. That's always my call to action. And so when a call finishes from my voice assistant and you know the, the post call webhook comes in saying that call is finished, what I like to do is I like to check um, you know what happened, did, did the call actually get booked? And I just check that and by saying, is the contact that just finished up the call, are they active in my appointment confirmation or reminder? And usually, especially if it's you know an inbound lead, it's a good indicator if, if they booked an appointment, if, if they're gonna be in my appointment confirmation or reminder workflow, right? And I'm just saying, if they're in there, then I know they booked an appointment. And if they're not in there, I know they didn't book an appointment. And so what I'm doing is I have two of these just open AI uh, calls from high level that you, you know, workflow actions here that they give you somewhere in here. These open AI right here, GPT power by open AI. So I have two of these. And from the conditional saying, did the person that the AI just got off the phone with book an appointment, either yes or no. From there, what I'm doing is using uh, this prompt, which I will include both of these in a doc that you can reference. I'm including both of these and I'm pushing in the full transcript. I'm pushing in the full transcript from the post call webhook. And so basically what I'm telling uh, ChatGPT here is here's the full transcript. They did or did not book an appointment. If they did book an appointment, you know, highlight something, you know, give them a, a bit of affirmation, um, you know, a confirmation, uh, something from the the conversation itself. And so I have it to where it'll try to find a key point in the conversation and try to play onto that like uh, you know, some of the, the exemplar that I gave it was, you know, finding something like, uh, you know, wasn't it cool? Did you notice how she asked, you know, about irradiance for solar panels? Or, you know, I saw the call just finished up. You notice how they asked you for skin allergies. 
And so just kind of like, you know, they booked the appointment and what I just want to do is just add a bit, you know, on the back end to say, wow, wasn't that cool for this specific reason, uh, rather than just saying, wow, wasn't that cool. Uh, and then on the back half of that, um, you know, if they didn't book an appointment for whatever reason, right, they just either were just genuinely calling in for information or uh, they didn't have a good experience, whatever it is there. I have this other one, uh, if they did not book an appointment, what this one is doing is it's going through the transcript and trying to find, you know, what could have went wrong to cause them to not book. And it's going to follow up, again, I'm referencing the full transcript here, uh, and then, uh, you know, having ChatGPT write me a customized follow-up message using that transcript as context. And I just, I place those into a message here. And so the flow looks a little bit like, I have my voice assistant out, someone calls it, um, because it's AI, I'm not a part of it, I don't know what happens. So I use the post call webhook, uh, which is just this webhook right here, going into high level, high level workflow right here. And what I do is after a call finishes up, I find the contact, I update a couple fields, and um, I check, did they book an appointment? Uh, the person who had just talked with it, do they actively have an appointment with us? How was the conversation? And depending on that, I try to send them a customized follow-up on the back half of that call. Now, I have, um, let's see, I can pull up here. I have one from earlier where I was testing. We are testing a couple things here. Uh, I'll have a reschedule and, and built a reschedule one I'll show here. But here was, um, here's the example of it right here. And so I called the AI and uh, I was doing a little bit of testing, but also wanted to kind of torture test it. And um, I was just kind of giving it some trouble. I was saying, hey, I have 15 sub accounts. The pricing is ridiculous, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and then just hung up. And then afterwards, um, it texts me this based off of that workflow I just showed you. It said, saw the call wrapped up. It seems like our pricing plans may not have perfectly matched your needs since you mentioned having 15 sub accounts. Totally get that's important to find the right fit. Would you like to explore a customized plan that suits your business better right here over text? And that's where the chat assistant will come in and kind of take over um, this conversation. But that's just, uh, this is just an example of the customized follow-up. And again, this is hands off uh, using the transcript of the call itself. Um, and just an if else saying, did they book an appointment with us or not? But we'll, we'll give it a quick run and we'll see what it can do. And maybe I'll give it a little bit of trouble here to see if it'll, um, you know, to see if it'll, you know, try to make peace with me, I guess. Let's give her a quick call. Hi there. This is Haley from Assistable.ai. I'm glad we could connect today. How did you hear about us? Um, through YouTube. Got it, YouTube. Is that how you got this number? Well, it led me to a, a landing page where this number was on it. Okay. I see. I don't recognize this number, though. Could you please tell me your name? Yep, it's Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Let me update that real quick. One moment. All right, Jordan, I'd love to hear a bit more about your business. What kind of work do you do? Uh, I run a solar company. That's great. Solar is such an important industry. Are you currently using Go High Level or any AI tools in your business? Yeah, look, I mean, I just cut to the chase. How much is it? Is it expensive or not? Sure thing, Jordan. Our pricing starts at $97 per month, which includes unlimited chat and voice assistance, 10 minutes of free call time, and one sub account. We have other plans as well, depending on your needs. Wait, do you do you wait, do you do a payment plan or anything with this 97? You're telling me 97 bucks? A whole 97 bucks? Yes, the $97 is a monthly subscription. Um, unfortunately, we don't offer a payment plan for that amount. However, it I don't look, I, I have a lot of accounts. Is that going to get really expensive? Yeah. I have about 15 accounts. And if that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a lot of money. Uh huh. I understand, Jordan. For 15 accounts, our $975 plan might be the best fit. Look, I it just, look, I, I'll, it's, that's fine. So I give her a little bit of trouble. That's fine. She's a sweet gal. And now, um, if we go over here to my post call webhook, let's see here. I should be in the post call here. 
and so we should be able to see me entered in here I'm just waiting on that that half a minute wait there and again what it's doing is it's going to take a look at the transcripts from that call that I just had and it's going to send it to ChatGPT with those prompts uh, and again I'll, I'll include the prompts um, in, in a doc that you can reference and what it's going to do is since I don't have uh, you know an appointment in that calendar at least I don't think I, I don't know I may, I may have just lied there um, okay there we go so because I don't have a calendar and uh, the tonality of the call wasn't amazing it's coming here to try to um, uh, you know send something real customized here so it said solid finish up the call it seems like the pricing for multiple accounts was a bit of a shocker I totally get that managing costs is crucial especially when you're running a solar company with 15 accounts that $975 plan may have seemed steeped at first glance and if you're still interested we can chat here about how this service can fit our budget and explore other options that may work better for you. You want to give it a shot through text. So, is this perfect? No. And do I have the prompt for fine? No. Um, but it's it's a great way for those if you're doing inbound calling or even outbound calling to send a customized message based off of a condition. Mine's appointment booking, but if you do contracts or or whatever it is, uh, where you're able to set a conditional to send customized messaging after the call, whether they did complete or did not complete your call to action. Um, and just to give a quick run through again, uh, nothing special as far as like this assistant. This is just a post call webhook initialized to a go high level uh, workflow here, post call webhook. And this is an inbound webhook trigger. That's the, um, that's the trigger for this workflow. Uh, and you see this link is, is this one right here. So I initialized that. We got the dummy data here so that we can map it. I'm just finding the contact, updating uh, a little bit of data, waiting for dramatic effect, and then checking whether or not my call to action was complete, at least for the you know lifetime of, of the, the caller, and then taking those transcripts with either a like positive type sentiment or a negative type sentiment um, you know prompt to follow up uh, with a hyper customized message. So. Um, I hope that's helpful. The video is a little bit longer, especially for something like this, but I hope that kind of went through the different things. I'll include those prompts there. I'll include a screenshot of the workflow um, and then kind of any nuance that uh, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. But it's a great way to uh, you know follow up with leads after the call in a very customized way. So hope you enjoyed.